Hello everyone, this is Carlo Nassar and today I'm going to show you guys how to rip voice lines from Team Fortress 2. So if for anything that's required, I will have a link in the description or at least mention the things somewhere, somehow in the description. So the first step is to make sure you have GCF scape and, and that you'll want to open because that's what we're, I'm going to use or that's what you're supposed to use to rip voice lines from the, the exact game itself. And to get the games, you obviously need Team Fortress 2 and Steam, which is the service used to that the game is actually in. So when you do that, first you're going to want to find where you have your Steam library folder installed, which is a thing that you'll have when you have Steam games in a thing. So when you find your Steam library folder, double click it in File Explorer in this thing that you're going to once you're once you want to open something, you'll get this. Then click Steam Apps. Then click common, I'm sorry, not click, double click, double click Team Fortress 2, double click TF, and you'll find all these VPK files or source game add-on files as File Explorer seems to call it here. You should scroll down until you find VO English Directory, which is, I assume is what DIR stands for. So then click open once that's selected. And then you'll find this folder sound. Then VO, you'll want to go on that too by double clicking it. And you'll find that there are a lot of voice lines that are not always well sorted out. You'll see that characters like Miss Pauling will have their own folder, so you could literally just drag it into somewhere like let's say here. But obviously I don't want, I don't want to drag it there, so that's not gonna be a good place. But you'll find that um some bot asses in Halloween maps like the Bombonomicon, the horseless headless horseman, that's literally what this folder's for. The eyeball, who which is really monoculus, or Dome Man's missing eye, I think. Remin and Blue Tark, the Man Brothers, and Morasmus. So those do have their own folders, but it's not always the case with the mercenaries. So because of how it's done, you really want to have a separate folder for each voice line section, depending on which character. So in my case, what I do here is I'm going to go back a few times. What I do is have a section where I have TF2 sound files in my computer for projects on YouTube, let's say my TF2 dubs. In this case, I have a folder called TF2 voice lines. So I double click that, and then I should have folders for each of those specific characters. Actually, when you're doing the same thing I'm doing, you should do the same as well. So in my case, since I'm doing heavy, I'm gonna double click the heavy folder, and it's empty. So what do I do? Well, in this folder, this VO folder, I scroll down from the top, and these are in alphabetical order, so just keep that in mind. Don't don't use don't order them by size. It's going to be a lot messier. If you do them by name, it's going to make it a lot easier for you. So just scroll down from the top, and heavy appears third in, in the mercenary section. So you just going to keep going, 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 and then you should find the the first heavy voice line in this section. In my case, it's heavy underscore activate charge zero one. So I'm going to scroll down even more until, until I find this last one that appears here. Heavy underscore yes zero three. So in that case, let me just make sure. Actually, to do actually just make sure you guys know how, what keys to do. You want to click this to make sure it appears blue. Scroll all the way down. Make sure that one heavy voice line is the only thing selected. Okay, and then scroll down and scroll down. Then you should find this last line. But before you click, hold the shift key, then click it so a, a lot more voice lines appear blue. Then you can let go of the shift key and you can drag these onto the folder. Don't worry if your cursor doesn't have that rectangular thing next to it. it, it it'll still work. But if you want to wait till the cursor looks like this, for instance, because, it, again, more voice lines will mean it takes a little longer. If you just want to wait for that, then you can if you want to. But that's not all the voice lines for Heavy, are there? There aren't. There's another folder here called Taunts. In this case, a lot of these voice, some of these vo Taunt voice lines are not always in their specific folders. You'll see there's some, but they don't have all the Taunts for specific characters. So, in this Taunts folder, there are a bunch of loose ones as well. So, in this case, you want to click this to make sure it appears blue. Hold the Shift key. Then click the last heavy Vuitton voice line in this section, then drag them on here. And then go to this heavy folder, 
And because these are for all, all for the same character in this case, because this is how it is with these taunts, you can just do control A in here, which I just did. And now I can just drag them all here, skip the file. And actually, if you get that prompt, um, I would probably recommend skipping the files, like doing skip, going for the skip option. And you'll see that Spy has a similar thing. And, you know, just like I showed here with the heavy voice lines, if you're doing some other, other character, just follow the similar example, only instead just do it with whatever character you plan to rip the voice lines for, that are from. So, like, if you're doing Scout voice lines, just do the same thing I did, but with Scout's lines. And last but not least, in this folder at least, man, I use least a lot. Then you should find this thing called Comp Mode. So, you click that. And again, a lot of more loose voice lines, a lot for the administrator. So you want to just scroll down from the top until the heavy voice lines appear. Again, make sure you didn't make it into some other order besides name, because that'll make it a lot easier than if you order them by size. Don't do that. So you want to click this to make sure it appears blue. Scroll all the way down until you get to the end of it. And when you see the last one, hold the shift key, then click this one, the last heavy voice line. Again, if you're doing this with Metal Mercenary, just follow the similar thing, but with different, you know, like let's say if you want to do scout, just do similar thing here. And then just drag them here. And just do the similar kind of thing with the other mercenaries, depending on which, again, depending on which one. And then just hold shift and then click that, like I just did. Again, similar example, but I obviously I have a scout folder for all of them. There's another one I want to show you guys called Tough Break. And this one is basically for heavy quests or NG quests or demo quests. Some of these, at least some of them I know are the same as the meet your match voice line. So yeah, but if you want to, you can also get those if you, as well. I'm going to do that because why not? But yeah, just you get the idea. And that's almost everything, but we got to do the robot sections as well. So with robots, there's a section called MVM. And these ones are kind of their own thing. I mean, they did separate the giant robot voice lines from the normal robot voice lines, but it is named a little weirdly. So MGHT, that's giant voice lines. And again, it's not always, it's not all, it's very loose voice lines. So in my case, what I do is make a folder called robots. And then instead of, and what I like to do is in the robots folder, I like to put which ones for like have have the folders like this right here: giant robot demo, giant robot soldier, ro normal robot something. And just note that um, with the MGHT, you will see MVM underscore M underscore, or as with Norm, you will see underscore MVM underscore whatever topic it is. So yeah. So in this case, let's say I want to do giant robot pyro. So I go to MGHT and I scroll down all the way until I reach the first pyro voice line that appears in this section. So then I click this to make sure it appears blue, scroll all the way down until I reach the end of the pyro lines. Then I hold the shift key, then I click that and I just drag them here. Obviously, I already did that in the past, so I don't need to do it. But yeah, that's what you should do if you're if you're doing that. Then I do the similar thing with the taunts, where I just I don't have a, a separate taunts folder, so I just put these pyro voice line taunts with this folder, so it's in the same place as the other giant robot pyro voice lines in this case. Again, I already did this in the past, so if you didn't do this already, you won't be prompted to replace or skip anything. So yeah, that's pretty much how the Zilmar case works. Now one last thing I want to do before I get to the Versus Sax and Hail lines is that I do want to show you how to get the sound effects from the game. So again, go to where your Steam library folder is, Steam Apps, Common, Team Fortress 2. Again, double click these folders uh, when you're going in Final Explorer. Double click TF. And for the sound effects, you should find TF2 Sound Misc Dare. And then you should find this. So double click sound. And because they're actually sorted much better than the mercenary voice lines, in this case, you could literally just drag this sound folder and drag it to, do to where, okay. You could just drag this sound folder to whatever you want in File Explorer. 
but I already did that in the past, so I'm not, so I, I don't need to do it, but you can pretty much, okay, sorry about that, guys, uh, Mike's not really responding, but anyway, um, while we're waiting for that, I'm going to show you what the sound folder contains, so in my case, hold on a second, let me just get that out. Now, one, also one thing worth mentioning, if you already opened them in the past a lot, then you should check file, recent files. And if you open these in the past already, then you can just go to them if you want to. But again, I recommend following what I, I did with going to Steam library and all that stuff. But in this case, so what you'll find is that if is that um, because they're all sorted properly, you can literally just go all the way back here to root, drag this sound folder to whatever you want in the com computer. So in my case, I have for ambience voice, sorry, ambient sounds, coach stuff, like, I don't know what that's for. Also commentary lines um, from the commentary, I think by the developers on how the maps were supposed to be designed. You'll have stuff for items like cart warning, power up, all that stuff. And let's see what's next. UI also, a lot of lines for this one. And you also find that when you, if you have title, contributing artist, and album appearing, like if these are all checked, if you right click somewhere around here, you'll find that these game startup files are actually tracks for the Team Fortress 2 album from Valve Studio Orchestra. So for example, Team Fortress 2, the theme that you hear a lot in Meet Your Matt, Meet the Something Mercenary, like at the end, don't, 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 playing with danger, rock jump waltz, intruder alert, robots, Mercenary Park, all that stuff. You'll find a lot of hit sounds, item stuff, and you know, all that kind of stuff. Also TVs, lines, or sounds. And some slight music stuff, like, I think, this, I'm not sure if this, I think this includes some Halloween stuff, I don't know. But, well, there's a lot that you can find here. And, oh, this is where the Halloween stuff can be found for like organs and all that. You have weapons, lots and lots of weapon sounds. So have fun with them all you can if you're using, let's say, TH2Dub projects like I'm doing. All that kind of stuff. Now, the last thing we need to look at is the versus Saxon hail situation, because I tried looking for tutorials like on how to do this kind of stuff on YouTube, but in the case of these lines I'm going to show you, which is a little more complicated, I found no tutorial outside of a forum on Game Banana, so I'm going to show a YouTube version, and I think this is the only one that does it. So what you want to do is click open here, but when you go to Steam Library, I'm going to go back to Steam Library here. Um, when you go to Steam Library, then double click Steam Apps, Common, Team Fortress 2, TF. You don't go here. Instead, you go to the map section. So some of these will have their own specific voice lines depending on the event. Some of them don't, so just note that in mind. In my case, for Versus Saxon Hail, you should find VSH underscore, let's say, Nucleus, for instance. And then you want to click Open after you select the Nucleus BSP, because that's what the map files are in. And when you try to extract from the sound folder, here's what happens when you do that. So, error writing, all that, sound VO mercs. And when you notice that, it's... Okay. A lot of VO stuff here, mercs by Jamie McGuinn. You'll notice that the folder's empty. So, it's useless. What is there, what, what point is there? And all, you get the find, you'll find all this compression format not supported. So what you wanna do in here is scroll all the way down from the top, and you should find VSH nucleus.zip or whatever else that comes after VSH, depending on which map you decide to do it. Doesn't matter, as long as it's VSH, you, you're following it correctly. So you wanna double click this, and then go to sound, and then VO, and then Mercs by James Quinn. When you actually do that, however, when you drag a voice line here, you'll find this, unspec unspecified error. So I'm gonna skip that in this case, because it, we can't use File Explorer. What you actually have to use is you want to right click it. You want to have a program called 7-zip and then you should find open archive. And 
Now try cl double clicking sound here. Double click VO, double click Immersive by James McGuinn. And this is how it'll actually work. So let's say I want to extract this one. I drag it from here from 7-zip and then it actually works. You may build your body by lifting weights, Hale. I build my body by lifting heavy machinery. See that, guys? That's how you have to do it here. So with these specific voice lines for Versus Accent Hale, you can't use the regular file explorer that comes with your computer. You have to use something external or third party like 7-zip. I know that's weird, but it is how it is. And in this case, I'm just to show you that all of them export, I'm going to just drag this Mercs folder in my desktop and then double click it. And then you can actually view them properly in File Explorer once you export that folder from 7-zip. From zip, sorry. So all this stuff will work. I'll even show you some examples right now. Windows Media Player. I think it's a little faster in my opinion. Look up! You just got marked, Muscle Man! And here's what here's probably one of my favorite ones. I, I'm gonna use this in some of my dub projects. Run! I love that one. Now, in my case, because they're in specific folders, or because they're in specific characters, what I like to do here is again go to my voice line folder. Let's say I wanted in this case I'm gonna use heavy as an example. I go to my heavy folder, and what I do here in 7-zip is I click this so it appears blue. Just select it, simple as that. Then I hold the shift key, and then I go to the last heavy voice line, heavy win underscore zero two. So now all this is stuff selected. Once I release shift after clicking this last bit, I drag them onto the same folder as the other heavy voice lines, so they're all together. I just like to do it personally because it makes it all easier for me. So yeah, you can do it differently if you want to. Just make sure you have, make it convenient for yourself because. You don't want to make it less any less convenient. So that's what's going to be the case with anything that's a BSP map folder. And to show one more example, I'm also going to show you how to do it with another one more. So again, go to Steam Library, Steam Asset Common, all that kind of stuff. Do the same thing you did for the VSH maps or BSP files. I'm going to show one more example because I think this will be nice to do. I think this will be a bit of a bonus. What I'm going to do is find that cursed cove event if I can find it or something. If I can find it, to, let's see. Okay, cursed cove event. I just want to show this because why not? I'm going to click open once the cursed cove event is selected. Now, some of them, on some cases, the zip will appear at the top, and other cases will appear at the bottom. So just be on the lookout whenever you can. Then I'm going to drag this to my desktop, for instance, because why not? Then once again, you have to use 7-zip open archive. Again, if this if it doesn't work within the regular file explorer from Microsoft, then you will have to use 7-zip or something else like WinRAR or Ultra 7-Z that I heard someone from, my, from a Discord server min post. I'm not familiar with that, so I'm not gonna use it here, but 7-zip will work just fine. In this case, uh, I go to sound, VO, double click the folders once again. And this is all the stuff for, I believe, Davy Jones. So in this case, you can you can drag voice lines from this 7-zip window onto your desktop, and then you can view them regularly. And here's how this one works. All aboard! It's collecting time! But yeah, um, you pro I think you guys get the idea. So um, I hope I did a good job showing you how to do this, and I hope you guys have a bit of an easier time if you had a hard time in the past. I would recommend doing this method like I did because that way you don't have to worry about where you got the voice lines. Like, let's say if you decide to download them from the internet, because I used to do that, but now I don't do it anymore because this GCF skate method makes it a lot easier. A lot of people have done the, the TF2 voice lines, like the regular ones, but this is the only one I've seen that actually does this, that includes the v VSH voice lines and the Davy Jones stuff like I was showing you earlier. So, I really wanted to do that because earlier I only found a game banana forum that actually helped and no one's not everyone's going to go on that kind of stuff compared to a YouTube channel. So anyway guys, I hope I did a good job and I will see you guys on the next video.